I asked Bobby Orr one time, I said, who do you think is the greatest player? He said, no doubt, Gordy. I said, look at the stats. He said, just look at the stats. He said, there's no doubt in my mind. He could do it all. I've been collecting like see, for about 60 years at least. And we used to go down to, at Olympia and uh, go down in the basement. They used to let us go, you know, as they would come out of the dressing room. They used to sign for us. And, uh, you know, and uh, there's one guy that always just didn't like signing. It's, uh, Terry Sawchuk, he was kind of different. And every time I asked him, he would say, F off, kid. Well, I had a program that I have everybody, and I still got it, uh, every signature, Abel Roger Crozier. And I kept asking him, you know, and uh, that kept telling me the same thing. and. Uh, well, Gordy was behind him one time, and uh, he said, hey, Terry, he said, what does Jack Adams tell us? To sign for the fans, because they pay our way. He said, you sign it for the kid, and I'm going to break both your legs and arms, and you'll never play hockey again. And Terry took it from me, and he's cussing me like he don't believe, but he signed it, and I, I, I still got it. I used to follow Gordy all the time, and he knew me at signings, and then I started helping, you know. And then uh, when Colleen, his wife, got sick, and we used to travel, and he had asked me, he said, do you mind, uh, you think Rita, my wife, would mind if she comes with us so she can keep an eye on Colleen? And Rita loved it. And that's really when we really became really good friends. He's a great guy. Had patience with kids when uh, uh, the kids used to notice his van in, in the neighborhood. They used to come run and knock on the door and sometimes I had, you know, like, 20 kids are over, and he used to start playing street hockey with them. I, I used to pick him up, and when my grandkids played, or you know, and uh, it, it was fun. Yeah, my my grandkids called him Uncle Gordy, and he got uh, you know, it's having snowball fights and everything else, you know, you know, and he just became my best friend. I remember one time when Colleen started, you know, getting sick, Gordy got her a little puppy. His name was Rocket. Okay, and she used to carry him with her all the time. He went to Montreal one time and talked to, talking to Rocket and Gordy said, hey, Rocket, I got a new dog. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, that's nice, Gord. He said, I named the dog Rocket. He said, you did what? You you, you named the dog after me? He said, yeah, Rocket, but I love my dog. And Rocket said, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, as, uh, you know, as much as they were fighting over, you know, at the ice, you know, uh, uh, and stuff, 
they were friends. They used to go golfing together. You know, I mean, off the ice, they were friends. When my wife was alive, uh, you know, I started putting stuff in the hall and she, all she did was look at me. Okay, I understand. That's your space, I won't take it. When Gordy was down here, uh, I couldn't get him up. My wife would start yelling, dinner is ready, come on, bring Gordy up. You know, he, he's talking about what he did to this guy, how he ran this guy into the boards. And, you know, I mean, he would never, you know, it, it just has his way of, I think, reliving it or, you know, of remembering. The game new stuff, you know, that's, I mean, that that's the real stuff. Wayne Gretzky skates, that he wore those when he was winning the Cups and uh, with the Oilers, 83. You know, and then I got a pair of old Bobby Orr skates, really old that are, are, are there. And I wouldn't, you know, I'll pass those on to my kids. I got Gordy's rookie stick. And they've been offering me tons of money for it. I just won't part with it. And that's the only one. It's, I, I was asking Marty, I said, do you guys, I know they have a lot of milestone sticks, right? They don't have that one. I got the only rookie stick, has one rookie stick. He said he used it for three years. And he marked it like that for me. Can you imagine using a hockey stick for three years? He used to cut his sticks right below the, you know, he liked them like below the chin. And he used to tape in himself. And another thing he used to do, he used to do put uh, tape on the bottom, like really thin uh, uh, rolls of tape. Every time he scored the goal with that stick, he would take one off. I saw eight cups in my life. The last four, and then the four in the 50s. In uh, 1955, when we beat Montreal in, in seven games, and that's the, the year that uh, Maurice was suspended for cutting the lights. I was 17 years old, and I was at that last game when we beat Montreal. Uh, I think it was three to one. It was Gordy got the winning goal, and Alex got two goals in that game. And that was when Ted Lindsay picked up the cup and went around the ring. That's the first time I touched the Stanley Cup from the chicken wire they had at Olympia. Well, he used to come to my office every day or come over here. Gordy would sit on one side of the couch having his ice cream and apple pie, his favorite. He would have it with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. My wife always made sure we have enough apple pies here. Yeah, I mean, 25 years is a long, long time. And Bella, I knew him before that. For my grandkids and my kids to have, you know, I think I got more pictures of them with Gory than, you yeah. know. I had spent a whole day with Gordy in Sylvania, Ohio, the week before he passed away. And I knew that would be the last time I see him. He was sleeping most of He recognized me, he squeezed my hand, he tried to talk. But when I left that day, I knew. When Murray called me that Friday morning and he told me his father had just passed away, they were taking my wife to hospice when I answered the call. And uh, then, you know, she died the next day. I lost 
my soulmate and my best friend in two days. I like the hockey stuff and going, you know, but his friendship means more to me. I never would have met Wayne Gretzky or Mario Lemieux, Sidney Crosby, and all these other great ones. I mean, they were friends, you know, John Bellevue, they, you know, they're great, you know, Bobby Hall, all of them, really. Just reminds me of the friendship I have. started something gonna tell the world again oh you're so beautiful i just can't hold it in i think we started something i hope it never ends i hope hope it never ends don't tell me that the good old days are over we're too